Today I'm going to tell you why the stock exhaust is better than the Yoshimira AT2 for me on this bike. But first, let's go back to the final moments of this bike with the Yoshimira AT2 exhaust installed. Last cold start with this Yoshi. Damn, she sounds good. Sounds real good. Off to the shop we go. Not super thrilled about putting the stock exhaust back on. But, I mean, obviously I have to protect the engine. I could get a master, uh, master commander, a power commander. But I also don't want to blow out my eardrums. You know, like I mentioned in the last video. It's a little too loud. It's kind of uncomfortable to ride. And this is my daily rider. So, got to do something different. Last highway pull. Now I'll miss this exhaust for sure. This thing sounds good. Ah, damn, this thing sounds good. It's about to be quiet as a mouse. Oh, well. Got to do what you got to do. If you haven't seen the videos that explain why I took this bike into the shop in the first place, click the link above. And if you're out there and you have experience in ear protection design or whatever that field is called, and you want to collaborate on a product that allows us to protect motorcyclists' ears, even if we put the loudest exhaust we can find on our bikes and not have to worry about going deaf by the time we're 40, reach out. Uh, I'd love to connect and collaborate. And in the meantime, let's go pick up this M29 and give it a fresh cold start on this new old exhaust. All right, let's get this cold start going. We've got the stock exhaust back on. Moment of truth. You know, as far as stock exhausts go, it's not too bad. Emotional damn it. You know, it's got the little ports on either side, so you get the full stereo effect. You know, I'm really selling myself on it now. But let's jump on the bike and talk about it. This guy's cool. I mean, he's got to rub it in, right? First ride with my stock exhaust, and this guy's looking all cool. I mean, as a daily rider, at this sound level, it's really way more comfortable for me in my ears. And, you know, I've had sport bikes with straight pipes on them and uh, never had a bike without an exhaust. And I've never worn earplugs. So uh, maybe it's just me at this point. May it's not you, it's me, baby. Uh, you know, may maybe it's just that my ears are more sensitive, but uh, I'm still wearing earplugs, right, even right now, just for the wind noise, right? This whole experience is really made me much more sensitive to protecting my ears to be quite honest on another note if you are going to install a full exhaust on your bike make sure that you uh oh this lady's moving for me thank you make sure that you uh, have it properly tuned after you have the exhaust installed or have a power commander with the right map installed so that you don't run lean and, and do any damage to your bike uh, on that note I'm bringing this bike back into the shop in maybe 500 miles just to make sure that there's no residual damage or effects from the bike running lean for a period of time. Uh, and if there are, I want to get it fixed. I've got a warranty for the next 18 months or so, which is good. So we want to make sure that this bike is in tip top shape because right? at some point I am going to sell it. Uh, but before then, I've got a, a host of ideas for customization on the bike and things that I just want to add. I'm just going full daily rider mode, so I might get a top case on it, you know, a couple cosmetic things here and there. I might get braided lines for the front. So just going to continue plugging away, making this the bike that I want, even though it doesn't have the exhaust that I want, so be it. And so for me, the main reason that the stock exhaust is better than the Yoshi AT2, it's all about sound and protecting the ears. All right, everybody can make their own decisions. That includes you, obviously, and I respect whatever you choose to do. But for me, going stock for the time being is the way to go. I've got some plans for new bikes on the channel, so stay tuned for that. I'll definitely want your feedback as we get into it. And if you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe out there.